Hi everybody. Today we are going to dig into some of the more powerful capabilities within the conditional formatting options in Excel. This is one of the more powerful features of the program, but many people don't realize how many things they're able to potentially achieve by applying conditional formatting. Specifically, today we're going to show you how to incorporate icons using conditional formatting. So, to apply conditional formatting, I'm first going to select all the data that I want to apply my formatting rule to. Before I go any further, I just want to mention that I'm demonstrating this today using Excel on a Mac. However, if you're on a Windows computer, the procedures will all be very similar. So, with my data selected, I'm going to click on Format, and then choose Conditional Formatting. The Conditional Formatting dialog box will open up. Here, I want to click on this plus icon in the lower left-hand corner, which will allow me to add a new formatting rule to the spreadsheet. The next box is where I'm going to set the terms of my formatting. So in order to apply icons, you can use this drop-down menu here and select Icon Sets. Now under the drop-down menu labeled icons, you can see the various icon sets you can apply to your formatting. I absolutely love this because it allows me to represent data in a totally visual way that anyone can understand. It can even be useful for surpassing language barriers. So we've got a lot of options here, but I'm going to stick with the red, yellow, and green lights because of their similarity to traffic lights, which makes them very easy to understand. Now we can set how these icons will be applied here. The drop-down menus allow me to select when the rule will be applied, whether I want it applied based on number, percent, formula, or percentile, and I can enter specific values in the boxes here. You can also create custom icon sets using these drop-down menus here. This box allows you to display only the icon, which will remove the original data from the conditional formatting view. And just like that, you can see that I've added icons to our spreadsheet, making it very easy for anyone to see at a glance how the numbers are shaking out throughout our data. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.